Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to the Bedlam. So we're on the third episode, and we make it. We make it to Aztec City this time, and we still have quite a few to go. Maybe next episode. I do want to cover. A lot of people are asking about replayability of this game uh, in in the last couple of videos comments, and I have to say on on the easy mode that we're doing. I don't know if I covered this or not last time. The easy mode that I'm doing, you basically make it from Byzantine to Aztec City and game over. On the normal and hard modes, you go from Byzantine to Aztec City, and then you go back pick up more people to bring them to Aztec City again. So it's New Game Plus, you get to keep all of your things as you go back and then you come back in. So you, all your people and all your things, except the the uh, these guys, you can keep going back and forth and back and forth, and it gets more and more and more difficult each time you do it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, something I kind of wish that Faster Than Light had, like an, an additional way to go. Uh, but uh, I'm really enjoying this game. It's uh, a lot better than I thought it was going to be, which is... Um, Kind of cool. So we're gonna go here. Just gonna see what happens. I go through a lot of games, and uh, this one's I'm really enjoying it. The dozer finds itself in an area of dense vegetation in every direction. Massive purple vines reach towards the sky, higher than the dozer itself. This exotic jungle life is, has large amber-colored objects, each bigger than a human head, growing at the base of each undulating, undulating. I don't know that word. Vine. It is possible that these are some kind of edible gourds. Ooh. As you disembark, some passengers expressed interest in sampling the mystery fruit. Perhaps it would be an effective replacement for meat to feed your bat passengers. Um, let them sample it. We're going to lose a bunch. Several passengers hungrily chomp on a foreign fruit, proclaiming it tastes much better than meat. They seem to experience no ill effects. Finally, an, an economical, economical way to replenish your food stack. Stock. Huh. But then, several minutes later, each passenger's skin suddenly slides from their bodies as they eject their liquefied organs from every orifice. None of them has any time to scream. Oh! <laughs> you hastily return to the dozer, leaving the remaining fruit to the pods of unfortunate and pools of the unfortunate passengers behind. The dozer's mighty engines slowly urge the machine forward through the thick plant life, eventually coming to a clearing, continuing along the road. Ah, we only lost 110. Not so bad. Okay, well... That was, that was very nice. Wow. Liquefied organs, huh? It must be our, our buddy doing it. Well, explore in the area, the crew discovers massive spherical structure. It has been overrun with thick mutated vines, which have crawled up its outer surface nearly to the top. The base of the purple vines are the mangled corpses of several bedlam dweller, dwellers. As the crew gets near the structure, the vines slither off the outer shell and lash out and attack. They are clearly not letting intruders come any closer. Shoot them! The crew's advanced weaponry only seems to irritate the resilient mutated plant life. The thick tendrils angrily swing at the crew, but remain undamaged. Huh. That was boring. Ooh, we're on elevated. That's good. As the crew explores the area, they see a lone wanderer hustling over a nearby dune, constantly looking over his shoulder in panic. Moments later, a pair of ravenous killoraptors Sprint over the dune after the wanderer. Intervene! Yes. Taking careful aim at the vicious bedlam carnivores, the crew guns down the moving targets just before they reach the potential meal. The wanderer approaches the crew, offering... Praise. Amazo! I was food for those killer raptors until your fruititious... Fortish... For... <laughs> until you arrived and made them food instead. You must allow me to compensate for my stash of priceless artifacts. The wanderer draws a cloth sack from beneath his tattered poncho and empties it on the sand. His artifacts mostly appear to be worthless, little trinkets that he's collected in his travels. He carefully combs through the pile and selects a particular bottle. A small statue of spike-covered mutant with an oversized head. It's a bobblehead spiky thing. The most valuable item at my disposal, pledged for your heroism and most gracious predicament. Accept it. Oh, that is awesome! I need like six of those. I I need one of those on my desk. That would be that would be awesome. <laughs> that thing is cool. Turning away from a grateful wanderer, your crew collects the carcasses of the killer raptors and delivers them to the dozer gallery galley for processing, rather than let them meat go to waste. Forty-five. It's not too much, but still. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Is that Gath or is that the area? We're in Gath. We're in Marauder Country. We can attack another guy. I like doing that. I like killing those dudes. Let's uh, let's take this one on. While exploring the area, the crew's sensors detect some kind of advanced frequency, which seems an anomaly in the wasteland. Following the signal, the crew discovers an encampment. Judging by the equipment and the logos of Unida, 
Biotech Innovations. They must be corporate scientists from Byzantine doing research in the Bedlam. Approach them. One of the scientists steps away from his equipment and approaches the crew. Ah, greets to you, the brave travelers. We heard of your expedition just before we departed the city ourselves, seeking undiscovered elements and an evolutionary miracles. Thus far, the only item of interest we have encountered is the shell of a vorax spiner, a lethal creature that we believe actually went extinct even before the Baron Age. Ultimately, may not be of value. Further research required. Alas, one of our vehicles in a state of disrepair, so we have been researching here for some time. But we shall endeavor our, to locate additional valuable assets for the glory of the corporation. Ah, let's invite them in. If you do not mind storing our equipment and research specimens on board, we are certainly amenable. Amenable? Yeah. Think of the uncharted territories we would be able to reach in your expectation. Like, yeah, we got the Vorx Spiner Shell. That is cool looking. And we got more people? I'm guessing? Yeah. 115. So that kind of evens out. Do you want to go here? Ah, uh, let's fight. It's time to fight. Alrighty. What kind of guy are we? Oh, this guy. King Viscera said you scuzzers would be a challenge. Ha! Crowbar man is gonna pound you. Puny banobs. Banoobs? Yeah, banoobs with a man smasher. Time to make paste. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I like this guy a lot. I played with him before. Hey, let's... Should we take three? I hate it that we lost our sniper. Let's take another frontliner. Or should we just take three? We got the shotgun. Let's just do that. So we can get some power cells. You guys suggested that we do that, and I want to I wanna try it out. I must have been playing with four, because it's kind of nice to have a, a little bit of a reserve little reserve puddle going on and it is kind of nice there's, there's you get two two action points per time hmm. oh man he's got 10 hit points you got three I think I'm gonna know can I if I walk over there can I yak on you if I walk up there I can't yak on anything shoot I don't want this guy to get in my way let's do this Power. hopefully he hits yes he did hit but the leg happened as well. Oh no, that's a dead eye. I'm gonna go up and kill that dead eye too. Hopefully this will work. Yes, veteran status achieved. Don't you dare hit me, crowbar. That's a knockback, isn't it? Can you hit? I move you somewhere else, can you hit? What happens if I move you up? You can't do anything. Get on my face. Ooh, six. Power cells. So Russell, Russell's, oh no. Oh, you got crude. This is, this is a bad idea for you. Hope you know that. Blah, yahoo. That's so awesome. Oh, is that what you want to say for yourself? You're gonna smack me twice, guess what? No, it don't work. Well, I can spec you twice, too. So I used one guy on this encounter. No, I used two. I can't hit him. Can I hit him? Yeah! <laughs> Ping pong. Level up. Oh, this is this is my favorite guy in the game that I've played with so far. Mark of shame. King Viscero would pull Crowbar Main's head off his neck for the failure. If you take me and your machine, I'll pulverize any lunks you tells me to. You got a Crowbar Main's pledge. All right. He's joined the Dozer crew. Man, we got a we got a good stack of allies going on. All right, continuing on. As the Dover travels along the road, you are approached by Jericho Thrice, an embedded journalist from Byzantine who is trying to reclaim former glory. Greetings to you, mechanic. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Jericho Thrice, prime reporter for Now Beam Network, or at least I was before the embarrassing public incident with Jinxing Nimble. And the matter with that black market skin sims and carnal boxes. But to business, I will be chronicling the grilling, preposterously optimist journey to this purported Aztec city somewhere at the opposite end of this discouraging scape. It is highly improbable that our signal will ever reach Byzantine, but I will be recording and telecasting with experience to the passengers and anyone in Bedlam with range of my extraordinary lightning transmissions. Do you have a message you'd like to share? 
we will reach Hesic City. Magnificent, your unreasonable certainty despite our infinitesimal probability of success is admirable. That was boring. Let's we'll see what this one is. Yo. Exploring the area, the crew comes a large cave entrance. Yes, we're gonna enter this cave. Crew descends cautiously into the cave, weapons at the ready. Adjusting helmet equipment allows them to see through the darkness to a degree. At the end of the cave, they discover a large metallic orb. Its surface is entirely smooth, with no apparent seams or signs of rust. Hmm. The orb suddenly begins to emit a strange humming noise. The crew approaches. Yes, we're cutting through it. The crew's fusion torches aren't able to even leave a mark on the orb's otherworldly alloy exterior, nor does a barrage from their weapons. It seems clear that the crew will not be opening the orb with the tools in hand. Aww. Seems like these are either a hit or miss. I'm going for that little exclamation point there. While scouring the area, the crew finds a strange device of cables and rusty metal half buried in this copper sands. Until approach begins making a muffled boink, blonk noise. I, I like the boink better. It repeats until the crew steps backwards. It may be a harmless piece of defunct equipment, but it could seem be some sort of, some kind of signal, signal, signal transmitter. Man, that's the dyslexia. <laughs> Trignal Sandsmitter. Or it might be some kind of vendetta contraption left over from the ancient skirmish. Attempt to deactivate the device. The crew either has impressive mechanical skills or an abundance of good luck, and they are not completely annihilated by this dangerous weapon, or whatever it is. Either way, it has been successfully dismantled, and let's see. The crew can't determine the device's actual purpose. There are several polar cells inside. Good. Cool. Uh, let's see, we'll take this one too. When we're getting to the end, like, we can go explore a whole bunch because we have so much food and meat, or er, food and fuel. The crew explores the area, attention is drawn by the noise of a sputtering motor. From a nearby dune comes a rickety track vehicle towing a smaller trailer filled with scrap. Let's talk to the scrapper. Greets travelers, pardons with our hesitation. Never know the intentions out here in the big chaos. Okay, he's a traveler. We can trade for meat, I suppose. Oh, ancient math box. Uh. I guess we'll trade crude. Grats! Ancient math box, it's a computer! Cool. So that goes in here, and these are cargo that we get. And then, like, we can fill this up. As we fill this up, then it's, it's, we can sell it, or it's worth more points or something. Not really important, too important on, uh, on easy mode like this, but it gets more important on the higher difficulties. Hmm. Transport truck can be seen crashed in a ditch on the side of the road. Dozer comes to a halt as you disembark. On the side of the transport truck is a faded logo that reads Mojo's. Judging from the scene, the vehicle struck a truggle pod in the road and careened out of control. The sticky remains of pulse pulsulated vermin are splattered across the truck's grill and windshield. Inside the cab, the driver and passenger have met a grisly fate against the dashboard. That's why you wear your seatbelts. On the floor of the you find a hand scratch note. Special order from Jartin. Cron lash of splinter heights deliver at all costs. In the rear of the truck, you discover a large sealed crate. Yeah, let's try to deliver the package. We don't really need the meat. Cool. What do we have now? Crew explores the area. Attention is drawn by the sound of conversation. Surprising that they can hear in those large vehicles. Okay. <laughs> the Tonka berries. They taste like starlight. The gems are slumbering. Spared the sorrow, spared the sorrow of the undoing. Motor master stroke. The whale sisters watch the pivots. They come at you sideways. Okay. Oi, emissaries to Navigator Prime of the Cryptonautic prophecies. Be vigilant for the underfingers. They will deter the pilgrimage. Only the song can diminish the underfingers. Wither and wane. Uh. Yeah. Oh, nice. An erotic tuning fork. Oh, that's just what we needed. It's another item down here. We did do all of these, right? We had all these leveled up. I'm kind of surprised they only allow us to go to five, and I think it would be like we use this more, but they're still working on balance of the game. Okay, while well, exploring the Craggy region, crew's attention drawn the fizzle of quantum power. Uh, an encampment of marauders. Oh, yes. Let's attack the marauders. Aha! I love this. Okay, let's bring our crowbar up here. I guess we'll take four. I just wanted to mash with crowbar and gunder rock, chunder rock. These guys are, it's awesome. He's got a giant hammer and a lot of hit points. Things getting close, it's very, very good. 
And there's a lot of guys. This is good. Let's try to pick a few off to begin with. Hmm. I'm gonna get you guys in cover. Oh no! Oh, that's a hard one. Wow. Just like that, our dude died. I'm kind of concerned. Let's go here. Oh, you didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, he's fun. He's got a lot of hit points. That's what I really like about him. <laughs> oh, it didn't kill him. This will. And the scream. Oh yeah, go ahead and shoot me. Power. Thank you for the power cells. I only need it. Well, should I maybe run you away? Run you up? Hmm. I'm concerned on how many damage that guy can do, because I just got a new guy. I don't want to lose him. Let's go down here. I'm gonna bring you up. There we go. Hmm. I don't know how much damage he can do. I'm so scared of him. Move a little farther away. I knew it. I knew you'd come in here. Oh, and you missed. Good. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't hit him. Oh well. Aha! Man, we lost a good sniper though. That is hard. It's a nasty one. We got a little bit of meat and some other things. You know, I should be using these those enhancer things too. Keep forgetting to use them. Like, I could have put up the defense one and used the power cells. The dozer travels along the path. You notice a man with a peculiar equipment go dashing across the path ahead. You recognize the man as an alchemist. One of the practitioners of transmortification, able to extract various substances into other useful materials using black science. The man is being pursued by silver marauders. The dozer comes to a halt and the crew disembarks to investigate. Bunch of scuzzers let our new chopping dog get away. He's gonna wipe your skin and steals your snares wagon. Uh huh. Okay, so you weren't gonna come along this time. I guess we gotta play with him. Shoot. Uh, let's just take three. We'll be fine. Hopefully. If not, it's a wipe, and then we lose all three guys. <laughs> that was fun. Is that a dead eye? It is. Shoot. I'm going to move there. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't get killed. Well, there goes our sniper. <laughs> Are you a dead out? You're a trencher. You're a gunslinger. Let's take you out. Uh-oh. That dead might be in range. Ow. I don't know what to do now. Let's go hide. Let them move. Okay. That's perfect. Meat. <laughs> I love this guy. I oh, know, don't hit me. Ow. <laughs> um. Great. I got two turns left. I guess this is, this is for nothing here. Chunderock may die, but he may kill. Oh, it missed. He's dead. He's dead. No, he ran away. What is he doing? Oh, man. It dominated. <sighs> wow. That was, that was scary right there. Now we got the dude. With the Marauders defeated, the Alchemist emerges hiding places. Grats to you, travelers. These inhospitable characters have been chasing me for many suns. In exchange for your timely assistance, I offer this matter manipulation apparatus of my own creation. While not as productive as a full Alchemist laboratory, it is nonetheless able to duplicate small amounts of many useful materials. And now, I should continue through the scorched hills in search of other elements to alter with the archaic arts. Oh, nice. We got another thing. And I didn't use the enhancers there either. Whatever.
food and fuel are, are fine. Okay, traveling the cannon. Yes. Ants intervene to help. Let's see. Under siege by a swarm of skithering troglopods. Alright, some nomads are attempting to fend them off with archaic sludge throwers. In sheer numbers of critters are bound to overwhelm them eventually. So crew, advanced firepower proves no match for the troglopods, splattering them with to messy chunks in great numbers. The vermin quickly retreat, dashing away out of sight over rocks and into crevices. The apparent leader of the nomads approaches. Come on in, friends. Indeed, riding a grand machine rather than forever footing in the land's pleasure to be with yours. Indeed. 300 more. Ooh, a good one. Oh, let's go explore this guy. As the crew is traveling through the gorge, they arrive at some type of ancient depot. There are two giant fuel containers with reinforced bunker between them. The fuel containers corroded long ago. Uh, and crude has been reclaimed, but there's a bunker. Large vehicles on the side of each faded image resembling a bishop's hat and a hazard symbol in its center. The symbol of an ancient crusade of 80 plagues. Above the bunker's door's hand wheel is a strange faded image re resembling a bishop's hat with a hazard symbol in the center. Below the wheel is what looks like a large keyhole. Open the door. The crew is unable to budge. Okay. I'm wondering if some of the items that we get no, not the items. These items allow us to to do certain events that we couldn't otherwise do. I don't know. The screw explores the area. They arrive at a gaping chasm that seems to have been caused by recent seismic activity. Reason, uh, the ground continues to tremble beneath your feet. On the far side, you can see an old transport vehicle. Oh, Fierton Fusion Co. on the side. We're going to get some power cells. No, we're not, because we can't go around. Weird. Let's go to this one. Uh-oh, high levels of stress. Whoopsies. As the Dozer travels along the road, you enter an area of rough terrain that appears to be the scene of an expansive battle before the Baron Age. Blasted trenches and crumbling bunkers bear faded and scorched logos from companies like Majestic Industries, Chemistro Burgers, and Pinnacle... Bio boosters. The site seems to be a remnant from ancient conglomerate conflicts. When brands were battle flags and powerful corporations engaged in actual warfare for dominance, the dozer continues on the road, leaving the devastation behind. Oh man, we gotta go to Capacitor Flats. Should we kill this guy? I don't know, let's just outrange him. Hey, we could probably kill him. That means I'm gonna have to go back and then forward again. That's okay. Ooh, that looks like a cool gun. We should probably kill him. We don't have much range now. Let's bring him instead. We're gonna leave Chunderrock behind. I'm a big Chunderrock fan. He is he is my Dingleberry, and he will be my friend. All right. Hmm. Oh wow, there's no cover there. Okay. Can I can I shoot that guy at all? Doesn't look like it. Let's go up here, grab this, and kill this guy. <laughs> and now he's gonna get dominated. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Just five. I'm just gonna kill the big guy because I am immensely scared of the big guy. I guess it's not killing him. Oh, gotta be more careful with my snipers. Oh, uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, that hurt. Uh-oh. You want to cover? Oh, that's cute of you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to line aside him. Oh, man. It's been a nasty one. Let's go up here. It still should be in cover. He can't attack me. That's good. <sighs> We're losing the puny ones. Good thing that we, we uh, don't have a new game plus. Give quarters. Scrager main accepts a savage beating. Scraker main? 
Is this the dude, a brother for the other guy? I knows a, I knows a clutch with the meaners when I see him. Give me some sweet squishy targets and I'll splatter them all over the bedlam for you. All right, Scrigger Main joins the crew. I gotta check. <laughs> We're out of dead eyes. Whoopsies. So we got Scrager and we got Crowbar. These are dudes are brothers, aren't they? Oh, nice. The Wrecking Brothers. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, healing in 12 days. Hopefully we don't have to fight anything. Let's go this way. All right, let's just try to try to win now. Try on, because we already explored this one. Capacitor Flats. Kind of surprised it took us to the side. Bedlam is notorious for unpredictable climate. You are entering a peculiar mist of corrosive enzymes. This haze is unlikely to cause damage to the doser, but it is possible your passengers and crew may be harmed if exposed to this mysterious caustic elements. Really? If I go over here... Okay, you've located a wreckage of what appears to have been a large orbiting space station plummeted to the surface not for long ago and half buried in the blackened sands. Judging by the skeletal skeleton fragments that your crew finds alongside the mangled frame, it was also manned. The station's equipment is demolished beyond repair. Uh, twist of metal. Positive results. Several functioning power cells. There's my cat. She hasn't been locked into a room. Yeah, we can continue on. I really need to use. Okay. Ooh, carcasses of several creatures. Those are halts as you disembark. Dead animals are... Runkalo, large dosso beast, often bred for livestock in Bedlam. The scorched hides and high impact bullet wounds are telltale sides of slaughter by marauder. <laughs> no, go away. Marauders must have been in a hurry to cause further carnage elsewhere since they left this valuable meat behind. Cool, we got meat. Come on down. I really want to get in another fight somewhere. Okay, dozer crippled marauder vehicle on the side of the road. A single marauder can be seen slowly trudging in the road ahead. Let's stop and investigate. A marauder is packing a pair of large pistols, but she makes no sign of hostility. Hoy, a mazel rig there. My own Jenkin roadster finally murked out on me back a ways. Fabbing to see some other souls out here. My name's Zilla Clash. We was seeking eatables when a plasma hailstorm crippled. Okay, let's invite. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Got another one. It looks to be... What kind of... Where are you? Zilla. Where are you? Is it you? No? Or is it a person? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, well. Let's go down here. We are gonna... We're gonna reach... Byzantine. Okay, thick black smoke. Cook caravan of incapacitated vehicles, one of which is a flame. Bloody corpses are strewn about the area, but at least two survivors can be seen. Oh, yeah. Those are slows to halt and you disembark to examine the grisly scene. The survivors appear grateful for assistance. You offer the unlucky traveler sanctuary and medical attention. Oh, what timely arrivals. We just been hit by some marauder scuzzers. Didn't even wipe her supplies, just out for joy kills. Our goods are yours, especially safety on your rig. 120 people. I thought there were two. Oh well. All right. Let's let's do it. Let's go here. Let's just finish up, and then we can go into the normal mode in the next video. Let's see if we have to attack anything. Dozer comes to a halt. You disembark to examine what is ahead. The road ends in a massive wall constructed from some unknown substance. It is higher than Dozer itself and stretches to both ends of the horizon. It appears impregnable. Then near the side of the road is a tall metallic statue of robotic warrior partially corroded from enduring ages of exposure to the harsh bedlam elements. Suddenly, the statue groans to life and moves toward you. Oh, great. Vigilus Omega Online. All imperfect beings are to be eradicated, as per entire, entirety protocols. Assessing threat and processing tactical strategy. Support units mobilized. Obliteration of lesser forms commencing. Great. Alright, we don't have any dead eyes. I guess we got crowbar in there. Let's get trenchers. We take Scrager. Yeah, let's take Scrager. We'll also take Puker. Um, let's take... I don't know. Let's take a Frontliner. We don't need any more Crude since we're done. We don't really need anything else. We'll just take everybody. How's that sound? I really like the Trenchers. The shotguns are awesome. And we are going to use... We have to use the other stuff. 
I would have lost so many guys if I would have done that. But that's just, I mean, this is my second full run of the game. So, um, gotta be, gotta be a little bit careful. So there's the equalizer. Click to evacuate, or activate the stealth suit outfitter. Crew can move on the scene, last one turn. There's a wounded crew, recover health. Eviscinator, crew weapons, okay. Oh, that's a good one there. They are drunkified. I don't know what that does, but it makes them drunk. And that doesn't use up any of our attack movements points either. Okay. Now I bring you over here. Oh, these guys are these guys teleport too. Watch them teleport. Oh, they're drunk, so they attack each other. How cool is that? Very cool. All right, let's come up here. We're gonna barf on this dude. Blah! Get melted, noob. <laughs> Do it again. That's awesome. Vigilous. I want to get in on this too, though. Power. Blop. Oh, get nuked. Oh yes, this is great. He's a no. They're running away from each other. Get the meat, so we don't need it. Meat. Ooh. I wish this was an AOE. Oh well. Good job. Good job, new guy. Scragger. Attention meat forms. Enjoy transitory exhalation. Sentinel has been subjugated. For this unprecedented accomplishment, this vehicle and its occupants have been calculated to be of acceptance merit and shall be allowed passage. Visualist Omega will accompany travelers to the intersection. Oh, we got the new dude. Cool. A seam in the massive wall appears and a section slides aside to allow the vehicle entry. As the portal seals behind the vehicle, the crew continues along the road into uncharted territory in the quest of legendary Aztec City. Oh, here it is. Look at this. We made it through the door. The dozer continues along the road, traveling for a lengthy period of time without a single sign of trouble or life. Suddenly, the dozer's instructions instruments begin going haywire, detecting mysterious signals ahead. Could this be an indication that you are finally approaching the fabled Aztec city? The passengers begin buzzing with anticipation. The dozer sensors reach a crescendo as a vehicle draws close to a source of unknown energy. The dozer travels over a rise and arrives at what is beyond. The vehicle comes to a halt and you disembark. The road ahead abruptly ends to a vast crater. Expanding as far as the eye can see, its surface seems fused by some kind of powerful otherworldly weapon. Aztec City is gone. Uh oh. Suddenly, shimmering in the air above the crater, a monolithic pyramid appears. The passengers resort rejoice at the astounding sight, astonishing sight. A small door opens to the surface of the incredible structure. A hovering orb of mystical light approaches, carrying a curious, curiously garbled man. Garbed man. Greetings to you, brave travelers. I am the Tilikin, herald of to the Tesseractus. You have defeated the Barrier Sentinel, and we have been able to periodically monitor your progress through the Veil of the Fractal Carousel as you boldly battled through chaos and devastation. It has been many ages since we have seen a mechanic. Your perilous journey will be rewarded. You and your courageous contingent have been deemed worthy to join us within the glorious realm of the Tesseractus. Aztec City awaits, but we must make haste. Through our sanctuary is eternally tethered to this superposition. The enduring corruption energies, corrupted energies of this domain mean that we can only materialize for a brief periods, else we risk a state of permanent flux. We must immediately return to the fractal carousel where we have drifted in the omniverse since the dawn of the Baron Age. <laughs> the Telekin makes a series of gestures. You and your crew and passengers are surrounded in a floating orb of energy that rises and delivers you to the massive pyramid. As you near the monolithic structure, you briefly consider all those who must continue to withstand the adversity of Byzantine, the hardships of the wasteland, and the torturous reign of King Viscera. You enter the undescribable splendor of Aztec City and the portal closes, leaving the escape of Bedlam behind forever. The journey of Mechanic is not complete. 
The people of Byzantine can be saved, King Viscera can be defeated. Play again on normal or bedlam mode to unlock additional dozers and achievements. Travel back through the wasteland to Byzantine and confront King Viscera in the ultimate battle. More bedlam awaits. Ah, very cool. Congratulations, Ranky Elite Mechanic. So there we go, time played 55 minutes, even though we did three episodes, that's kind of weird. We had all this stuff. So, that's basically the game. Um, That's the easy mode of the game. We're gonna go into the normal mode here uh, for the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I did. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.